Just tell us how practice has gone so far, including uh, trip to China. Uh, practice has been going good. Uh, I think it was 10 practices that we had before we went to China. Uh, those practices were really like the first couple of practices that we had to, to be with each other like as a group, as a team. And uh, it was like I could tell in our first couple of practices that this was going to be a good team that we were going to have this year. We could, we could really be we could really be really good this year if we was to buy in and just listen to the coach and just, you know, do what he asked us to do with 100%, 110% and give it all that we got. We can really be really good this year. And uh, also with practice, practice is tomorrow. Like, I think all our practice is up to now, and I think from now until the end of the season, it's going to be very competitive because uh, for me, myself, I played a four, four on four, so it's like when I walk into practice, it's like it's not like last year where I walked into practice and was like, okay, uh, no matter what, I'm going to be all right. Like this year, I, I go in practice knowing that, okay, I got to go in practice on top of my game because I have Darren Knowles and Xavier Dupree, both that can do the same thing as I do and also have other factors of that game that I can't really do. And so it's just like I can't take anything for granted. And then also, not even counting those two, LeRon, LeRon Barnes, he plays the three, but he also plays the four for us at times too. So it's like, okay, if I want to play, then I have to, you know, I have to be on top of my game every day. And we're going to practice, we compete every day. We're going to practice, we give it all every day, no matter if it's just a walkthrough, no matter if it's, you know, real, real life shooting bullets at practice. Like, we, we're competing, we're listening, we're taking in. And I think that's the good thing about our team this year, too. Everybody, I think everybody on our team is, is coaching. You know, I think everybody on our team listening to coach. I think everybody on our team trusts coach. They trust in the process. And that's another reason why I, I feel like we, we, can, we can and I feel like we are going to be very good this year. So it's not just an interchangeable parts and all like it was last year where guys pretty much had to move over if somebody, if, if you lost somebody, a, a situation, chemistry, you, you're building on it, but it's not just move, uh, interchangeable parts. Everybody knows now from day to day, game to game, week to week, I know what I got to do to stay out on the floor at my spot. Correct, correct. And um, like you said, that, I think that was one of our, one of our witnesses last year, everybody, you know, everybody didn't know going into the game, they didn't know what to expect. They didn't know what the, you know, what the, like I said, what to expect. Because, I mean, like, LeBron Barnes, we we could be in, I, th I, I think if I'm remembering right, it was a day over game. We was in walkthrough, day over game. He ended up having to get stitches in his eye. And I'm like, day over game, you get stitches in your eye, like, but thing about the run point like he's not gonna he's not gonna stop he's not gonna give up so stitches in his eye wasn't gonna stop him from playing that day and yes he had to get stitches in his eye but he went and got him he came right back on the court and just started right back practicing like nothing happened but that was something that he had to do because with Dollar Run born at that point in time I don't know I don't even think we would have been able to play that game. Because I think without him we would have been down probably to like six players or something that game. So it was like last year was just, I don't know, it was it just kept everybody on their toes. And this year, I think we, everybody can be more relaxed this year, but then at the same time, like we, like we can be more relaxed because, you know, we, we know that we have depth. But then at the same time, practice is more intense. Everything is more competitive because everybody that's at every position, starters and back up, is just as, like just our backup, our bench. We got five guys coming off the bench that's just as good as our five starters. So when we go to practice, we're competing every day, all day, all while we're in there is competing. Give me your thoughts on the conference, the American Athletic Conference. Uh, I think we're in a good conference. You know, I think we're in a, 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 a real good conference. A conference that everyone or a lot of people overlooks. And uh, I don't know why. People overlook us, you know. I don't, I don't know why, but I think this year is going to be a great year for the American Conference because I think multiple teams in this conference is going to make statements at different times of the year. And uh, just to talk about U of H, I think we're going to be we're going to be 
it's so much better than what it was last year. Uh, not not necessarily because of the depth, because of last year. Don't get me wrong. We we had seven guys, but those seven guys, we were we found a way towards the end of the season to get the job done with, with seven guys. And this year we got 14, 13, 12 guys, and everybody is everybody is basically like you really can't compare. Like you, well, I'm not gonna say compare, but you really can't say one guy is better than another guy on our team, or not necessarily better, but one guy is on another level than another guy on our team. Like you really, you really can't necessarily say that because of the talent that everybody on our team has. And so, I think that we're gonna make a big stand in our in America competition. One last thing. Let me know it or. Let's talk about the importance of having fans and uh, people come to Hoffmeyer to watch you guys play. Uh, I think it's very important because you know we get a de depending on depending on who we're playing, depending on the situation of the game. We need the fans, and not necessarily depending on that. Like we just need our fans. Period. You know, it don't it don't matter if we're playing LSU or or. USF or UCF or any, it, it doesn't matter. You know, we we need our fans, uh, and I think this year, uh, depending just because our well, not just because our football team is doing good, but because of our football team and how they're performing right now. When we get ready, you know, when we go to a football game, we always have people asking us when your season start, when the game, who y'all playing, what time. Like because I, I feel like they just they're so excited to come to the game this year because I think they want to see the new like our our team this year. They know last year we only had six seven players, but this year we got a whole group of guys. Everybody is healthy right now, so they want to see how you know how we're going to be looking. So I think they're going to come out this year, and it's just going to be left up to us to keep them there. And I think we're going to keep them.